What's up everybody, this is Bolo, and in this video I'm talking about how much a day's worth of resin, i.e. 180, will get you in artifacts. We're specifically here at the Ridgewatch domain to get the 5 star Pale Flame artifact set. And this is for our official, we've been grinding at it for a bit. I really want to complete a great set for official before moving on to some of the other sets. So we're going to be grinding Ridgewatch for Pale Flame 5 stars. And we're going to be doing nine runs because um, that's the equivalent of how much resin will regenerate in 24 hours. So if we look right now, I have 179 artifacts. So we'll be able to see what we have when everything is said and done by the amount. Also, I'm going to go through here and select all the ones that say new so that when it's time to see everything we've got we'll be able to easily identify the new items so there we go we are clear of quote unquote new items we're gonna see what we get from nine runs or in other words one day's worth of runs in the pale flame dungeon and we'll well it's already clear we'll probably get like 11 or 12 five stars but not all of them are going to be pale flame so we'll have to see what we get here we are first completion let's get up there and see what we got so we got a pale flame circlet with the fence so uh let's continue and here we have the second completion and we got um we got some four star pale flame we we only got a tenacity of the millilith. So round three. And round three complete. That was round three, right? Tenacity of the millilith. And I think we're on completion four. Our completion time is getting a little bit faster, which is which is good. And we got another circlet for pale flame with HP. This is so painful. Whew. Okay, I think we're on completion number five. I've honestly started to lose count. Let's see what we get. I swear all I'm capable of getting with Pale Flame is the flower and the plume. It's starting to actually kill me. Okay, on to number six. Ooh, ooh no! Oh, okay. I need some help. And there we have it. Okay. Number six complete. We're two thirds away there. <laughs> we got another freaking pale flame plume. So, we've got a couple of circlets I don't want to use because their main stat sucks. But, uh, we're not getting any sands. Um,. What is the last one? Anyway, we're not getting everything. We're getting a ton of plumes and a ton of flowers. On to round seven. Another pale flame flower. Why am I even surprised? Completion number eight. Here we go. We're going to get something amazing with this one. I really hope. That's Millilith. Wait, this was our last one. And I also think our fastest, 120. Okay, this is the moment of truth right here. Another friggin' Millilith. Let's go evaluate our loot. Okay, well for starters, everybody, I feel really bad. I might have lost count, but I'm like 90% sure that we did 9 runs. Which is the equivalent of 180 resin which is how much we'll generate in 24 hours. So let's check in our inventory and see what we got. So beforehand, we had 179 artifacts, and now we have 242, which means we got like 63, I think. Uh, maybe my math is a little off, but we got 63 new artifacts, which means we got an average of seven artifacts per run, and I don't think we had any runs that had two gold artifacts. 
I could be wrong. So we should see here seven new gold artifacts. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay. We had two runs where we had two gold artifacts. And let's quickly go through each one of them and evaluate. So we got a mask in the set we wanted with HP. Um, so I don't know if we'll end up using it. We also got the same thing with the fence. So probably not going to use it unless this grind goes on forever. We'll have to settle for something. Okay, we got um, two flowers as well. Um, attack, defense, HP. Not super interested in that one. And attack, defense, energy, recharge. Now if I could roll on the attack and energy recharge, it might be worth it. Or just on the percentage attack, or if this could roll crit rate or something, maybe. But I definitely see it as a last resort. Um, especially because I have this flower from beforehand that has both flat attack and percent attack, which would give me at least slightly better um, odds at a roll. Here we go. We got um, one new plume, which is... Attack, well, obviously it's attack. It has an elemental mastery and energy recharge. So that actually might not be a bad one to get energy recharge to pop off Oz quicker. Okay, and then we started getting Tenacity of the Millilith, which I don't know who's that's best in slot for, if anybody. But I wasn't too impressed with a lot of these stats anyway. Um... Maybe this one, but like I said, I don't know who Tenacity of the Millilith suits. Now, I would be willing to use a couple purples to complete the set, if necessary, if they have the right stats. So let's evaluate to see if that's the case, too. We got Defense Main, so, and that's Tenacity. Let's skip the Tenacity, Tenacity, Tenacity. Tail Flame, um, Sands, we got... Elemental Mastery is a main, which I don't know if is horrible, but I am going a little bit more for physical DPS. We have Defense, and we have another Flower with Energy Recharge and Attack. That might not be a bad one to check out until we get a better gold one. We have Crit Damage, another new Mask with Crit Damage and Crit Rate. This has Defense though, but I don't know. That's so mean that it put crit damage and crit rate on a defense main stat. Let's see, we got a crit rate, attack, energy recharge. We're locking this. Okay, so we have an alright purple mass to potentially pursue because it has a high crit rate, and I really need crit rate. We got percentage attack, we got HP, we got defense HP, we got crit rate and elemental mastery. We'll lock that. And we got Defense and Elementary Master. Elemental Master, which I'm not going to worry about. Tenacity, Tenacity. Okay, let's see. Martial Artist. I'm so sad Martial Artist is only a four-star set. Because I really like it. Um, let's see. Let's, let's uh, only go to the set we were looking for. And then a bunch of three stars, which I will not ever use. So in summary, guys, we got 63 artifacts, I think. Um, we got nine of them were five star. We got a bunch of four star and, a, a, and even more three stars. We got a ton of new artifacts. On the At the very least, I was running super low on artifacts. And now I have some artifact XP to buff my existing artifacts if I like any of them. And, um, but that's just one day. So if, if you wanted to use all your resin for a week on just artifacts, that would be 441 artifacts. And roughly, probably a little bit more, but roughly about 63 of those would be gold. And so, you know, if, if you've already ascended as high a character as you can go, and you just need to give them the edge that you're looking for, um, maybe de devoting a week to just getting them a really great artifact wouldn't be a bad idea. Although you probably, once you start rolling on the artifacts, will need to do some more LA lines. So, anyway, I hope this video was useful to you guys so you could see uh, really how many artifacts you're getting from 
one day's worth of resin. If you liked it, drop a like. If you didn't, let me know in the comments below what I could have done better. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.